Here is a, a sturgeon farm that's repurposing their water to produce even more food of using the uh, waste stream from the uh, sturgeon production facility. A stone throw away from here are sturgeon ponds and tanks where the sturgeon are enriching the water. The water through gravity makes its way uh, creatively to the greenhouse and leads to this yield here. And filtering the water, recycling it back to our system, uh, closing the loop of our farm, becoming a more sustainable farm, and most importantly, producing wonderful stuff with that formerly lost energy. We're seeing aquaponics facilities all over, uh, on rooftops, we're seeing them in schools, uh, we're seeing it in uh, food deserts such as an, on islands where they can't get fresh produce. In the middle of winter, uh, you can get in Minneapolis, for example, you can get uh, food that was just harvested uh, today, that morning, on your, on your table because of indoor food production and aquaponics being one of those solutions. I think within aquaponics we're kind of in its uh, infancy and as we get more exact uh, in our trial and error we'll find better ways to do what we're doing today. Once again partnering with UC Davis uh, to kind of get a better understanding in the art and science of aquaponics, getting behind a movement that eventually will help us have enough tangible resources to feed our country.